What's up, people? How you doing? This is Coach DC of the Intense Fit Way. How's everyone doing today? I haven't been live in a couple of days, but I have been paying attention and looking at what's going on in the world. So, everybody keeps asking me this question, no matter where I go, my clients are asking this question, my friends on Facebook are asking this question, Twitter's talking about this question. <clears throat> everybody wants to know what you're doing with your attention tonight. What are you doing with your attention tonight? Are you watching the NFL? Are, are you supporting the NFL with your time and attention? Because that's pretty much all you have to give on a regular basis, on a daily, moment by moment basis. The only thing that we have to give is our time and attention. And we're supposed to make our time and attention valuable. But when we give it to things without conscious thought, we don't make it valuable anymore. And people and things and propaganda take advantage of us on a regular basis. <clears throat> so tonight, no. I will not be watching the NFL. I will not be watching the MLB. I will not be watching the NBA. I will not be watching any sport that kneels, holds up the Black, Ma the Black Ma Lives Matter fist, or any such thing. Because I do not support the movement. No way, no how. Somebody has to show me where the movement has, con has constructed something something show me where the movement has created something built something made a positive movement in a neighborhood help the people on the street the homeless people instead all i see is little girls that ain't got no sense of what real violence is hollering in people's face little boys screaming like girls little skinny little boys screaming like girls getting in people's face this is all I see out of the Black Lives Matter movement. I don't see anything else. And you can't tell me anything else when this is the behavior and I'm supposed to support the behavior? What do I look like to you? When my, when my daughter does something that's naughty, she does. I don't support that behavior. I don't wanna see that behavior again, ever. And I make sure that she knows that that behavior will not be sanctioned by daddy. No way, no how. So, yes. I create boundaries and rules and ways to act in the world. If you're a parent and you don't, I'm afraid for you and your child, plain and simple. Anyway, back to the NFL. I won't be watching at all. I will not give them my attention, my time. And you know what, I'm gonna go read a book. I'm gonna go read a book with my daughter or we might watch a movie or something else, but I would do something else with my time instead of giving it to people who support things that I consider destructive, non-creative, hurtful, ignorant, just plain out dumb. Somebody said earlier today that, what is this? Um, some school is going back to segregation in the cafeteria or online segregation in the, um, what, what is it, the Zooms? The Zooms, really? We're having segregation in the Zooms now? This is what we're going to? We're going back to segregation? This is what I mean by this is not a progressive movement. This is a regressive movement. We are actually going backwards because of these dumb fools of the 10% that don't know what they're talking about. And do you know why we're going backwards? Because these idiots don't know history. They don't understand history. So when you don't understand history, what's gonna happen? We're gonna repeat it. We're going to repeat it, and we're only going to repeat it because of the dumb, loud 10% out here making the most noise. But I figured it out. I was looking at Black Lives Matter, and I was like, maybe it is a Marxist organization. Maybe they don't want anything but destruction. Maybe that's all they want is hate for the system. Because, why? Because they won't take any responsibility for their own actions. I said that to somebody today. She said, I talked to all these people, all these smart, educated people, and they say all these bad things that have happened to black people. Well, I want to tell all you smart, educated people who've never been black, who've never lived in the black neighborhood, I want to tell you something that's, that's really missing. Introspection. Introspection. People are not looking at themselves. They're not checking themselves. They're not saying that this has got me in jail. Maybe I shouldn't do this again. Oh. This has got me in this neighborhood. Maybe I shouldn't do this again. Uh, oh, 
there's roaches in my house because I got food everywhere. Maybe I shouldn't do this again. What happened to common sense? Are we just gonna flush common sense down the drain and let idiot and idiots and ignorance take over? Is that what we're doing? Does that make any sense whatsoever, people? Really? Did we lose the ability to think? You know, I found out what the frontal cortex does. The frontal cortex is like Jesus Christ just standing right there in the middle of your forehead. And you know what he does? He says, that's stupid. That don't make no sense. Okay, let's try that. And if that don't work, we can do it a different way. He processes things, especially things that come from your primal brain. But a lot of people have a very immature, undeveloped, or not even working frontal cortex. Period. And we can't just listen to those people and go with those people about their feelings with no logical sense whatsoever. It's stupid. We're regressing. We're turning back dumb again. Back to dumb animals that don't know how to communicate. So let me finish. No way, no how will I support any movement built on destruction and hate. I don't care what color you're talking about, who you're talking about, or what you're talking about. As long as you're built on destruction and hate and you can't control yourself, you get no support here, period. Salute. Peace.